Hello everybody, welcome to Medium Pool. I'm Lin Yudian. In this video, I will talk about digital inequality and why it exists. So let's get to start. Today, Weibo is in an area of great change in the 21st century with the backdrop of rapid information development. Digital technology penetrates every stage in our daily life, such as learning. In university, there has almost no student study without computer and uh, internet. While um, in digital users enjoy the convenience of digital, but it also depends the distance between users and the non-users. This gap we call it digital inequality. And the white exist. Digital inequality consists of social, cultural, and economic capitals by his first argument. First is economic capitals. Economic can be understood as income. The amount of income determines what electronic you can use, because if a user with economic foundation can get more digital information from new technology, and the users without economic foundation feel more and more inconvenience in this generation. For example, Apple Pay and PayPal are now widely used. This allowed people to go out without carrying cash, but this does not apply to users without smartphones. Second, social capital is the ability of difference of access to digital technologies and use information technology resources. Just like in social media, the more followers a person has, the more influence he has. Moreover, the cultural aspect, personal knowledge ability affects the composition of digital literacy. This means people with no more knowledge reserves can make full use of surrounding digital resources to get timely and current information. So different education level also caused the digital inequality in our daily life. In conclusion, digital inequality is unavoidable. It always happened in our daily life. That's all about this video. If you think it's useful to you, please like down below and leave some comments. Thank you for watching.